mean, we are big enough to have our own thing, you know. No need to worry about. Have enough gamble in the pocket. Right? What they do, you know. All right, so Jason Coon's gonna raise first one in. It's not a straddle pot. I mean, tell us to this text to the table. What's that? Huh? What'd you say? I didn't feel that true. I guess it depends on how much you have in crypto. Set hunting! <laughs> I thought you're not. You Paul like, says he's set hunting right now. with 8 6 suited. Trying to put some mind games on his opponents. I had like 33% in my portfolio. Now I have less. There are a lot of people who wanted to keep. 25% of their net worth in cryptocurrency when it was $1,000 and within six months it's 20000 coins and now they're forced to have 90% of their net worth in it unless they want to pay short term capital gains tax. Oh. So, so they got to hold on to it for a year. So if that's the case for you, a lot more gambling crypto than there is a motion. Yeah. Coon flops a straight flush draw. Short six, nine is a straight. Looking for the nine of clubs or the, I mean the nine of hearts or the four of hearts right now. Love to see a straight flush on in our big cash game. Uh, but Tom Dwan's got the best hand. He's gonna bet top pair ten kicker. Elton, he's got bottom pair for nut flush draw right now. He's actually going to make the call, or is he check-raising? He's going to make the call with bottom pair. He's very suspicious of Tom. They've got a lot of history, but Jason Kuhn actually might check-raise here. He can put a lot of pressure on these type of hands. Yeah, he, he's going to raise to 100,000. I mean, he's stuck about 800,000 euros, so... I can see why he wants to raise and just put a lot of pressure. I wonder if Tom Duong can read into this and maybe call a flop check raise and kind of see what happens on the turn. But I think he's going to let it go. The way he's grabbing his cards. Actually, no, he might call. He's Tom's thinking about what happened previously. Kuhn bluffed off a lot of his chips. Would Kuhn actually try and bluff off more chips? What happened to Sam? What, what happened on the flop? So he's going to let it go. And Elton probably got a fold bottom pair. Maybe Elton's going to call here. With just bottom pair. No, he re-raises to 324,000. This is a... Mm. Yeah, a weird know. play. Yeah. Turn it off. It might be like a little bit. I worse. mean, I don't say anything. Wow. Jason Kundo, I mean, he has a very good hand. Mm, just six time. high, but he's just got 55% chance huh? to win. I think he's just going to yeah, call and see what happens on a turn. Like, he doesn't think Elton will ever fold to a shove. He actually would. So here comes the turn. Elton trying to decide what Kuhn has. Turn is the queen. Elton has the nut flush draw of his pair of sevens. 736,000 in here. Now, Elton was pretty much giving up, but on this card, he actually might shove. Alton's trying to represent a set or two, like ace eight or ace seven right now. I'm not sure what he put Kuhn, what he puts Kuhn on right now, but he knows Kuhn lost a million chips. They've never played before with each other, I believe, with such big stakes. I would love to see Elton ship it all in here. The way Elton played the hand, man, I really can't really put him on a hand. It just seems like so we called a bet, got check raised by the preflop raiser, and then re raised to 300,000. So he's gonna bet. He's gonna bet a lot. He's just gonna shove them all in. <laughs> okay, he shoved in. 
390,000. He's got 540,000 behind. A half pot bet. Jason Coon's got so many outs, but he's only got 30% now. Jason Coon's got position, so he technically can call. I would never shove in Jason Coon's spot because he has no fold equity. So he should uh, only call like, with position. Jason Kuhn already know. down like 800k right today. He can get all his money back in his hand, or he can lose a million euros, possibly more, because I think they were deeper. He makes the call. There's not very many chips no. remaining. You know, Elton. Uh, 1.5 million. This pot could be bigger than the last pot we just saw. I played with him enough that I don't think he's got a so soft girl. Let's just put it that way. Rivers of four. Jason Kuhn makes the nut straight. Uh, I don't see how he could also be sweet. That's not good. There's 1.5 million in there. Oh, yeah, okay. That's the way, but. Uh. I'm sure, I think it's fine, I don't think it's losing any. Jason Kuhn is so relieved to see sure the four. Elton trying to decide if he can make a bluff. Yeah, mine's no way. I was like, what do you mean? Like, Just a pair of sevens. Uh, uh, it's like a king, you know what I mean? I, I had the same kind of thing, but further away. What do you mean I, if I lose this, I'm dead? What do you mean? Hold on. Jason oh, Kuhn just praying for Elton to shove. So, so. It's always possible. Thing is. Elton realizes Kuhn only has a third of the I mean, pot like, remaining. So he checks, he yeah, gives yeah, up. Uh, Jason Kuhn's gonna the shove. To the player, I, played. Max? I wonder okay, if Elton will like, consider a hero so call. If Jason Kuhn can have 6 5 of hearts, then that means he could have. 10 9 of hearts as well, right? So, technically, Jason, I mean, Elton does beat a couple hands. I guess King 10 of hearts and Jack 10 of hearts occasionally. But there's so much, so many chips in there. Two million in the middle. The Elton trying to decide what hands he can beat. 10 9 of hearts the most likely hand he can beat. But if he has 10 nine hearts, his opponent can also have six of five of hearts, which is what's good? what he's up against. Huh? It's very few hands he actually beats uh, here. I wouldn't say good. I, 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 I didn't guess even play for like ten nine of hearts months. and king ten of hearts. Yeah, Jack ten of hearts. If that's assuming they played the hand this way as well. I mean he really wants to make a hero call a pair of sevens. But it won't be it won't be good. Because if Jason Kuhn had a, a hand like King Queen of Hearts, he'd probably just check it back because usually he's up against two hearts himself. So nice show fold. Oh, Can't on, show the bluff. The bluff. Can't do it, man. Give me one way we There's a time. This is the time. Six of no. <laughs> Jason Kuhn wins oh, 789,000. Okay. He's actually up money right now. 2.1 million there the other in his starting stack. <laughs> He's in for 2 million.